Hello, we are here to present one, uh, present one open network emulator. Um, this is the first cloud-scale emulator that allows the network operators to proactively test their changes to the network before they actually deploy it. And this is really needed by the Azure network because right now we are going, uh, going towards higher and higher re uh, re reliability requirement, like four nights or five nights. And if you do the calculation, you will find that within one year, you only have a few minutes downtime uh, allowed. And to, uh, we just can't deploy any network changes without verifying them. So uh, open network and emulator is designed to solve this problem. So we allow the uh, network operators to specify what network devices they want to emulate. And we have a nice UI, like one touch UI. They can click on one button and start the emulator. And they can log in into the emulated devices to test their policies. Beyond the Azure deployment, we also hope that the research community and the faculties at universities can also use this for their classes or verifying their research ideas. That's why we are open sourcing it. And we're releasing in January next year. So next, we will sh uh, showcase the uh, uh, Open Network Emulator's UI, and you can see how easy it can be used. I will let uh, my colleague, Hasib, to, to show this demo. All right, so I'm Hasib, and I'll be going over the, the front end that we built on top of One. And the key idea over here is uh, that One in itself is a pretty powerful tool which allows you to emulate a large network. But in order for it to be used at a production scale in uh, Microsoft Azure, we build a layer on top of it that allows you end users to come in, not have to worry about the technicalities of how things are fired up, just push in a list of devices they want to work on. And the front end takes, uh, you leverages one to fire up, an em uh, fire up an emulation that is actually high, uh, high fidelity in terms of the devices that they've chosen and what else is gonna get fired up. So I'll go over an example on, uh, the, uh, on the front end. So when, one, uh, when a network engineer comes in to uh, verify a change on Azure network, what they actually do is they come in, they log into the portal, they request a deployment, right? And at that point, they can name the deployment whatever they want to. I'm gonna move over this side. For example, in this scenario, let's call it test summit. Right, I can assign any password that I want. I'm just going to do a random one. And for the devices, here's what I, I want to go over. So the user does not have to go and figure out what, uh, what are the exact speakers that they need in the environment. All they do is they pick a de uh, device list from what whatever they want to fire up. Azure has a bunch of devices, right? If they plan to work on five devices, they can choose those five devices and just submit a request. Now, what happens on the back end is this request get, uh, gets picked up and it's gonna get fired up in Azure as a virtualized network, right? While we wait for this environment to come up, I have a similar environment up and running. So what I do want to highlight over here is when the network comes up, you get your jump boxes, which are essentially what the end users use to uh, interface with these network devices. So as an example, uh, the thing that I do want to highlight over here is something uh, to visualize the network, right? Now keep in mind, the user just requested five devices, right? But you see a whole bunch of more devices on this diagram. And the reason for that is that when a user requests a device, right? So this, as an example, is a device. One on the back end figures out what other devices it needs to fire up to make sure that this device acts the way, uh, the same way as it would in production. Meaning that for one device that you picked over here, it goes and figures out what the boundary would be and fires up a whole bunch of extra BGP speakers to uh, to make the right uh, prefix announcements to this device. So when you log into a device it actually shows the right BGP connections coming up, the right interfaces coming up, and um, the right prefixes announced to it. So that essentially is our one front end, and that's what we use, to, uh, we use in Azure to verify our changes. Thank you.